How's it going guys? Back to another uh, auction finds video. I uh, went to the auction yesterday. This one I, I end up getting. I like to show uh, receipts whenever I get those. So spent a total of uh, $243.80. Got some games, a flat of jewelry, a flat of cards. It, it's actually cars, uh, matchbox cars. Uh, some hats and a box of uh, medical stockings. I have those in another room. I got a total of, there's almost a hundred of these uh, medical grade uh, socks. Uh, and it looks like they sell for around five or six dollars a piece. So I'll put those in big lots and sell those for, uh, you know, a lot of 10 might bring 50, 60 dollars. And I have almost a hundred of them. So that's going to be a great profit for two dollars spent on those. I told you guys in the past about uh, these old uh, trucker hats, snapbacks. The uh, price of these have really dropped dramatically in the last couple of years. Uh, a lot of these hats would sell for probably four to five times uh, in the past what they sell for now. Uh, but these hats, I paid uh, fifty dollars for all of them. I stuck this group on eBay on uh, I'm sorry Facebook last night. Uh, they're not the patch; they're just the regular, like silk screened fronts so there's a total of 15 of these in really nice condition i stuck those on facebook and somebody uh bought those for 40 dollars. he's gonna come pick those up uh, this afternoon so uh, 40 bucks of my 50 back so the rest of these i have uh, 10 dollars in and these are the ones a little bit better so these should sell for probably 20 to 40 bucks a piece uh the ones i'm going to show you so have that one uh, still enough for the ones with the patch. So have a, a skull, chewing tobacco, a Ferrari, or I'm sorry, a Porsche. That might be a pretty good one. And then a Bush GMC. These are all uh, vintage, made in the USA. And another patch one down there. Uh, now there's also a Wrangler hat that fell down here. That's probably a $30 hat right there. So good flip there. Uh, the board games, end up getting these for $20 for all three. You know, be on the lookout for these uh, bookshelf games. Uh, Rail Baron, a uh, good one. Uh, this game sealed, not played, is like a $300 game. But uh, this has been opened. Uh, looks all like all the pieces are there. And that should bring between $60 and $100, believe it or not. Have a role-playing game, uh, Gamma World. It looks to be uh, forty dollars or so. And this uh, Dragon Riders of Pern, uh, Anne McCaffrey is the author of the books. Uh, this is kind of a wild card piece. Uh, this might bring a hundred dollars because it's actually signed by the author or the creator of the books. And another personalized uh, autograph up there. So, unique piece. Like I said, I'm going to put that on eBay. Uh, probably like $100 or best offer. So, the uh, Matchbox cars here uh, were $30 per flat. And you just don't come across uh, these 70s uh, Matchbox cars in this good a condition. So, uh, $30, a pe $30 per box. Kind of a no-brainer because there's more than 30 in each flat. And you can see the condition on these on a lot of these are just outstanding so they're all uh, mid to late 70s so that's a 78 so these on ebay uh, may only bring uh, if you would sell a card you know some sell for more than others but on average they might sell for four to five bucks a piece uh, Plus shipping, you actually get more money uh, if you sell them in lots of like 25 to 30, 40 uh, in really nice condition because then they'll, they might bring uh, $10 a piece uh, because the people will save on shipping. Because if you would sell one of these for, say, $5, you're also charging 4 or $5 in shipping, so they're going to spend 10 bucks on it. So uh, when you sell them in lots, 
large lots, people save on shipping and the price brings more. Uh, there are also uh, some nice ones mixed in, like here I have a red line fire truck trailer. Uh, that alone is like a $20 piece right there. But yeah, you just don't come across uh, these matchbox in this good a condition. Like these are uh, over 40 years old. So there are a few couple uh, Hot Wheels mixed in from the early 80s. But as you can see, just a fantastic condition on most of these older Matchbox cars. So have those and then bought a flat of miscellaneous jewelry watches and that was uh, $55. So I told you guys before I love these uh, junk flats of miscellaneous just randomness. Uh, there's some costume jewelry in here. Uh, have this piece right here from the Vatican library. I uh, saw one of these with the chain uh, sold for I think 50 or $60. So just this one piece will bring my money back most likely. And then have an old straight razor uh, in the box. So it is in there in really nice shape. Have a, a running uh, ladies uh, Benrus 17 jewel watch. I think that's gold filled. Some miscellaneous uh, parts. Watches up here that don't run. Some like character watches. So have uh, Orphan Annie, Mary Marvel, uh, Cinderella, and there's a uh, Mickey Mouse. Uh, none of those work. Then some just some miscellaneous pins. Uh, some of these are sterling. Uh, like this piece up here is sterling. Another marked uh, costume jewelry piece. Uh, these are these uh, necklaces up here, Mark Sterling. Uh, more costume jewelry, uh, Swarovski crystal bracelet, and some other miscellaneous pieces. A mouthpiece for a, I think, a saxophone. So uh, I'm not sure exactly the model on this, but I looked uh, the, this brand up. And they range in value, uh, depending on what it goes for, to, I should say, uh, between like $25 and $60. So I'll have to do some research to see what uh, type of instrument this actually goes for. So this, this piece alone, again, might bring me my money back. So have that, have some more uh, sterling up here. It's a mess of all tangled, uh, but all these are either marked sterling or gold filled. Uh, Trafari, uh, stick pen and frog, uh, the exact same one sold uh, on eBay for $30. Then a couple watches have a uh, Jacques Le Mans, uh, Swiss made watch. Uh, does work. It's a uh, quartz battery. I don't have the correct size battery. I stuck a, a battery in it and it did work. So uh, Based on completed, that could be another sixty to eighty dollar watch right there. Have a, a running little Snow White watch, so that one is running. And then my favorite piece right here have a, a Bulova Accutron quartz. So it is running as you can see. Um, not a big fan of. Uh, I love Bolova Accutrons. Uh, not a, really a big fan of this, the lugs on this. So I think you need a specific uh, bracelet uh, for this watch. Uh, as you can see, the top one seems okay, uh, but the bottom one is broken. So to find a bracelet that would fit this, uh, it's probably gonna be pretty difficult. But still a uh, cool uh, 1973 uh, space age look to it. I uh, saw one on eBay, completed this exact same model, sold in England, and it brought uh, $171. But the bracelet was uh, intact. So very nice piece there. 
So these are the uh, pickups uh, for yesterday. I want to again uh, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed, uh, please hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.